Welcome back to the Nerd Chic YouTube channel, Ask the Nerd Podcast. We are going to talk crypto. Let's talk crypto. We're back. Today, I want to talk about wallets. So in our minds, you think physical wallets, something you put in your pocket, whatever. There are certain things as physical wallets for your cryptocurrency. There are hardware wallets. There are paper wallets. There are hot and cold wallets. Oh my goodness. What's all the wallet talk about? There are wallets that are with exchanges like Coinbase wallet. There are wallets for specific cryptocurrency that you can get on your mobile device like a Ravencoin wallet or um, a Digibyte wallet. There's wallets all over the place. Okay, there are tons of wallets and there are even apps out there that say they're wallets on your phone that will steal your crypto. So here's the deal. I want you to be in the know about wallets because it's super important. People lose their crypto a lot because of apps that are actually on the app store or, you know, that's Apple or Android and people literally put their money in, but it's not really their money. We'll talk about it in a second, but it's getting stolen. So I want to keep you from getting something stolen from you. I just, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a techie, security, devy weirdo, okay? So the first thing is, is what, a crypto, what is a crypto wallet? And people say a crypto wallet allows you to store, send, and receive cryptocurrency. And that's not exactly the case. A crypto wallet really doesn't allow you to store the currency itself. The currency lives in the blockchain, okay? So your, your crypto is directly valued to the blockchain, and then it's written into this encryption. It lives privately and publicly. More specifically, what's going on is crypto wallets are software that store the public and private keys that enable you to manage your digital currency and your holdings that interact with blockchain networks. So that's the nerd talk. I want you to be in the know. So when you say, I've got this wallet, I got all my crypto in it, you really don't. What you have is You've got those seed phrases and the agreements, those keys that allow you to talk to and interact with that public or private or both blockchain, okay? So there are different kind of wallets. There's hot and cold, two categories. A hot wallet, something like your desktop wallet. Um, there's Electrum, Armory, that kind of stuff. Um, mobile wallets on your phone, like Edge, Trust Wallet, those kinds of things, or even um, Coinbase Wallet. Hybrid wallets like BTC Pay and blockchain, and then hard hardware wallets. And then inside of um, sorry, I'm I'm scooting through my notes. Then inside of cold wallets, you've got hardware wallets. So that's the hot wallets. Let's talk about cold wallets. You've got Trezor, um, you've got Ledger, and that kind of things. And Ledger even comes in into kind of a hybrid model whenever you've got Ledger Live. So hot and cold. And then you've got paper wallets. So the first thing I want to talk about is a paper wallet. So what's a paper wallet? It's cold storage. You Paper wallets allow you to store your coin completely offline. And then you can generate, you can download the source code of a, of a, a cryptocurrency and generate the seed all offline. Paper wallets are easy to create and they're convenient for spending. You can just spend by scanning the paper wallet's private key with um, anything that supports that private key sweeping. Um, one of the great uh, coins that works with that is Bitcoin Cash. Paper wallets, but paper wallets, that's what a paper wallet is. So it's really cold because it's not live on the network. It's not easily accessible. It's not, it, it's not sitting on an exchange because sitting on an exchange is not in a wallet necessarily, right? It's very important stuff. Some of my favorite hardware wallets, there's hardware physical wallets that are different from <clears throat> the paper wallets. I like Ledger and Trezor. I don't even know if I'm saying them right, I might be Trezor, but I like Ledger and Trezor. Those are two of my favorite. Um, they feel very safe to me and they require you to connect your hardware wallet to your device. They save the seed phrases internally in that wallet. 
then you take that thing off and you put it somewhere else like the best place to put it that I always recommend is your bank um, safety deposit box if you're not going to use it all the time. So make your purchase and then drop it off and leave it in the bank. Does your cryptocurrency live on that wallet? No. Your cryptocurrency lives on those that seed phrase that's on that wallet. I recommend when you're doing these things, write the seed phrase down as well so that you have that even if you have an issue with the wallet. And then another encouragement is, is grab that wallet, bring it out. If you're using a hardware wallet and make sure that it's updated to the most current version of the software, at least once a month or once a quarter. Okay. Because there's all kinds of things that can go wrong and you want to make sure that it's, it's updating to the most current version of software. It's got the, the what needs from the blockchain downloaded. It's synced, that kind of thing. Just make sure you do that. So those are some of my favorite hardware wallets. And then my least favorite is mobile phone um, mobile phone wallets. So wallets that you have on your mobile device are my least favorite. They're, some of them are very easy to use, like using Digibyte or Electronium or one of those, Ravencoin. Using those wallets may be very, very easy to use, but they're my least favorite because beyond the hardware wallet, which is a lot more secure, or even the hybrid hardware wallets that's got a live function, they're not nearly as secure as the paper wallet, okay? So again, that's just an opening to wallets, the different wallets. If you're a newbie here and you're just getting started, my encouragement is this, go use Coinbase's wallet. And then whatever you get, if you get a ledger or you get a treasure, my encouragement is this, buy them directly from the company itself. You can get ripped off if you buy a wallet that someone's already set up and got the phrases for or something weird and you're a newbie and you set it up and stuff can get stolen. I've heard nightmare stories, has not happened to me, but you wanna buy direct from the actual company, go to the company's website and buy their wallet directly from them directly, right? And um, <clears throat> if you're buying on Amazon, definitely do not buy them used because that's not a good idea, okay? So that's my encouragement. Paper wallets would be the most safe. Hardware wallets in the world of Trezor or Ledger or my um, recommendation. And then of course, the next one be the mobile phone wallets. Um, those are the least whatever. My, my greatest encouragement here is use a mix of all. You know, find a mix of all that works for you. Utilize it and keep things in different places. Don't have everything on one exchange. Don't have everything in one wallet and don't have everything on your phone because you don't want to be tied to that phone. And whenever something says write down the seed phrase, write it down and put it in a safe place because you don't want to be like me and accidentally burn it with your Franklin Covey that you stuck it in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, thanks for tuning in to Nerd Cheek and Ask the Nerd Podcast. If you got questions in there, hit us up with them. Ask us right here in comments or whatever. Send them our way. We'll keep answering them. I've had so many questions about crypto. I'm still just getting through some of the basics that I've been asked, and I look forward to walking with you more. Subscribe to our channel, give us some love, hit the AskTheNerd.net web, ask website, get our app on the Google Android Store, and check out all of our NFTs on Rarible. My friends, you guys take care. See you next time.